guys. Um, so the purpose of this video is to tell you about a few different types of sampling that you can use um, when you're designing an experiment. Um, and it kind of has to do with the scale of your experiment and what your experiment is um, about. If it's about something that doesn't move like plants or something that doesn't move like animals or birds or something like that. Um, so the first type is um, called something using a quad, it's something using a quadrat, um, which is just a square um, that you can use to estimate uh, plant density and plant type in the given area. And um, usually you kind of just drop it randomly in an area um, and then you can count the number of um, plants that fall within the quadrat and from their kind of like tree density you can um, scale it up to find plant density and plant variety uh, within a given area. Um, so this is a small scale but then you can also use um, just plots which um, are kind of of your determined size. Um, they can be large or they can be small. So for example if I wanted to do a 30 meter by 30 meter plot um, I would kind of just randomly uh, determine how I wanted to make it random um, which again you don't want to have any bias in your experiment um, and I would use transect tapes to measure out 30 meters by 30 meters and then could take my samples from within that plot. Um, yeah. Hey guys, um, in this video we're going to be talking about um, taking transect surveys. Um, so here we have laid out a short just 10 meter transect um, box of tape we have going here and you can use these transect surveys for different types of sampling. Um, so for example if you want to sample animals like this is commonly used for sampling birds um, what you do is you walk along the transect at a, um, a, a slow and steady pace and um, you identify all the birds uh, that you can either see or identify by sound um, along the transect and you also it's important to um, to define your boundaries for the transect so you know some in some studies you might say okay we're gonna count all the birds or animals we see on five meters from each side of the transect so it's important that you know how um, how far away five meters is from each side of the transect um, these could also even be done underwater. Um, I have I did some research doing scuba diving um, transects and just doing some sampling underwater. So you can actually bring these underwater and um, kind of swim along them and identify different fish species and stuff as well. You can even use them for plants. Um, so you can walk along the transect and identify all the plants. And uh, this just helps you get um, a better idea of the kind of diversity um, and species richness you have as well as uh, just abundance of the species you're looking at. Hey everyone, um, in this video we're going to be talking about mark recapture surveys. Um, and so the purpose of mark recapture surveys is to use um, like with animals, um, you know, things that move, and they're really good for longitudinal studies. Um, so I'm going to show you some of the equipment I use. Um, I'm working with Brian Linker on his longitudinal mark recapture study on flammated owls. Um, so here we have some bands, and this is what we use to um, to quote unquote mark the the birds that we're trying to keep track of over the years. So each band has a unique number, and this goes on um, on the leg of the bird. And so the idea is mark recapture. You'll try to recapture it um, over subsequent seasons or years. Um, that way you can kind of keep track of their survivorship and other factors that are really important in a population ecology study like this. Um, so when we capture and recapture the owls, we take different measurements. Um, that's why we have these different rulers, a regular ruler, wing cord ruler. This isn't just a, a scale to take their mass. We take a blood sample um, and put them in these little tubes. I'll show you. It's empty, but. Um, and then when we capture them, we also put them in these little bags. Um, so it's a really great, um, great research method to use 
um, when you're looking at animals and when you're looking at animals over a long period of time, um, like in studies of population ecology.